Hey, turtle nerds, it's your favorite Italian plumber here. Let's talk about whether or not you can actually keep fish in with your turtles. Short answer, guys. You don't have to watch the entire freaking video. Just real quick and easy, short answer. Don't keep anything that you're not wanting to lose. Turtles can and will eat fish like any and all fish. They, they can, they have the ability to. So don't keep any fish that you're not okay with losing. Okay, got that out of the way, good. Let's talk about live bearers. Those are guppies, mollies, platies. Those are what I keep. Those are my favorite fish to keep in with turtles because they reproduce super quickly. If one or two get eaten, they're just replaced. That's what I keep. I keep a bunch of platies in my tub and you can see little babies swimming around. So when Pipsqueak happens to eat one or two of them, which I've seen happen for the first time, I've never seen any of my turtles hunt and catch fish before. Except for recently, Pipsqueak was able to nab some of those platies, but there's like 30 babies to replace any of the adults they could eat. So I could keep platies, guppies, mollies, they're all pretty much the same thing. Even though they're different species, they reproduce quickly. They're okay for your turtles to eat. They're a nice healthy snack, a little treat every once in a while. Sometimes I'll just catch them and just hand feed them to the turtles. So platies, guppies, all that stuff. Two big thumbs up. The fish eat the little little materials because turtles are super messy eaters. So those fish come in and they'll eat all of the little particulate matter or the extra food. If you fed a little bit too much, they'll come in and pick apart some of that extra food. The fish eat the turtle food, then the fish make babies. Then you feed the fish to the turtles. Infinite food glitch, infinite food glitch, easy. Cichlids, I don't like. I don't like cichlids in with turtles. I've seen horror stories where they peck at the eyes of the turtles. No aggressive fish, I don't like cichlids. Angel fish are too slow. You need fast, fast paced fish if you're gonna keep them in with your turtles. Also make sure you're keeping fish that actually have the same water parameters as your turtles. You don't wanna keep tropical fish in with like a spotted turtle that you're keeping outside all year. You're Tropical fish are gonna die in the winter. So cichlids are a no-go, slow fish are a no-go, tetras and things are fine, but you know, they're not great just because if they get eaten, they're kind of expensive and you won't be able to just get them replaced, i.e. they won't breed in the tub. Live bearers will, that's why I love them. Plecos, I don't like plecos in with your turtles. They can suck on the shells, they they make a lot of waste, they eat the algae, sure, but then they're pooping and making waste and that waste makes more algae. They're also slow and the turtles can pick on them or they can pick on the turtles. Same thing that goes for cichlids. The turtles can pick on them or I'm more worried about the cichlids poking at their eyes or poking at their skin. I don't like that. I don't like aggressive fish. I like the live bears, the community fish, the guppies, the platies, the mollies, your mama, your sister, your granddad. Oh, also, so if you're gonna keep, so say you're getting some guppies, you're getting some platies, mollies, but you grow attached to them, you love them, they're your, your little AEB babies. Make sure that they have plenty of hiding spots for those babies. You wanna give them the best chances of success. So you wanna have a lot of driftwood, a lot of fake plants, maybe live plants if you want to get real dirty. Some caves. I have a cave in my tub for all the babies to hide in. A lot of just spots for the babies to hide. And yes, these live bearers will cannibalize, but usually if they're well fed, they won't. And for some reason, mine just don't. Some do a lot, some don't do at all. Mine, eh. Depends on the day of the week. If you want to keep goldfish in with your turtles, you can. The problem is that goldfish get huge. They produce a lot of waste. And if your turtle eats them, it's not exactly good for them because they contain thiaminase, which is not healthy for your turtle. You know what doesn't have thiaminase? Live bears. That's why I like your guppies, your platies, your sister, your mama, your uncle, your cousin, your daughter. As far as feeding them, every once in a while, I'll break up food into particulate matter for the fish to eat. But in general, the babies will pick at the turtle poop, the turtle food, the uneaten turtle food, or algae, things that grow. If you keep your stuff outside, they'll pick at any like mosquito larvae or icky nasty bugs that get in the water. It's also enrichment for the turtles to kind of chase them around. It's good for the turtles, it's good for the fish. I've successfully kept goldfish and koi also with my turtles, but that's because I had a giant pond. So again, you'll be more successful if you have more space for those fish to get away, more spots for them to hide. And especially if you have a highly fecund, very reproductive fish, ones that are gonna pop out babies quicker than my Alabama ant. See what works for you. Some people's turtles are absolute psychopaths. It depends on the individual sometimes and will hunt down the fish to no end. Others like mine are usually pretty chill and don't eat them. Let me know if your turtles are sweet, wholesome little kind fellows or giant shelled psychopaths that will hunt the fish to the ends of the earth until they perish. Let me know if you learned something, subscribe for more and I'll see y'all in the next one.